Well, here's a question for you, and there's uh, really no way to put it delicately. Would you feel comfortable sharing a public washroom with a member of the opposite sex? It is a scenario playing out right now at the University of Victoria, where two washrooms, formerly a man's and a woman's, are now open to everyone, gender neutral, all in the name of fighting discrimination. But for many students, it's taken a little getting used to. CTV's Andrew Johnson joins us now live with the story. Andrew. Hudson, we didn't have to linger outside the washroom for long, and yes, we felt a little strange lingering outside a washroom for us to notice students, young men and women alike, doing a double take and then either taking the plunge or taking off. When nature calls, we're pretty well trained. Where's the washroom? If you're a guy, you find the stick man. If you're a woman, you're looking for the dress. But not here. A multi-stall, gender-inclusive washroom. You know what that means? Yes, it means it's for guys and girls. Yes, it does. Jack and Jill are both welcome. No need to split up and meet out front. He takes one stall, she takes the other. Simple, right? Maybe not. Watch. Two young women walk in, followed a few moments later by this guy, who sees the ladies inside and thinks, this can't be right. You spend your entire life being segregated from each other, so it's just really weird to... I don't think I'd want to go to the bathroom with my friend. It would just be weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep on Seriously? Walking. Like, guys and girls both use those? The University of Victoria Student Society is hoping they'll get used to it and embrace the idea that everybody's equal. We believe that it's important that people can access public spaces without fear of harassment or discrimination, and that's something that we've seen happen in our building. Transgender student Dylan Wilkinson says it's happened to him. You know this is the men's room, right? And I'm like, yes, I know. I'm a guy. We, we, we always think that sort of thing just doesn't happen here, but unfortunately it still does. The Student Society says it's only received three emails complaining about the new washrooms, two from women, one from a man, all of them saying basically the same thing. They don't feel comfortable doing their business next door to the opposite gender. If folks don't feel comfortable using this, these spaces, they have other choices. The fact is that if folks don't feel comfortable using gendered spaces, previously they didn't have a choice. She says most students are supportive once they figure out what's going on and why. They can also see the toilet humor in the situation. It's a little bit odd. I guess, I guess going on number one is a little bit better than number two. <laughs> Too much information. Hudson, if people just aren't comfortable, there are three other pairs of washrooms in the Student Union building that are men's and women's, and of course, many around campus. The washrooms, though, definitely have people talking, and for the Student Society, that is a good thing. The Society hopes it's a dialogue that will change how people view gender and public spaces. Absolutely. All right, Andrew, thank you. You're welcome.